So my perception of black Americans prior to moving here was what I saw on TV, like you said. But mine was very positive in a way, right? Because I remember the day I wanted to be an American was when I saw, I think it was Carl Lewis in an Olympic. I remember seeing that guy, you know, you know pre-warm-up before the run, you know, he was like very cocky, very confident. I remember he had this gold chain. You know, he's doing all this, they announce him, he's like, you know, he's very proud. And then he started running, he wins. He beats everybody. He was very proud. It's like, I know I'm gonna win this thing. I'm gonna always gonna win things. So you can see him being very happy about it. There and there, I wanted to be an American. I forgot how old I was. I, was, I wasn't even a teen yet, you know, but I wanted to be an American because I'm, that's what black American meant to me, meant Carl Lewis. And I also remember Boys to Men, right? I remember seeing them on stage winning Grammy. I remember seeing Sean doing the same thing, going, yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. So all those led up to, I want to be an American so bad. I've, I've known a lot of African-American. I've, I've met a lot of them and even scholars, you know. And so I really cannot comprehend this idea of, of, of African-American being, just being portrayed as, as, as criminal. So I, I, don't, I don't know the differences. I, I don't see the differences besides the fact that we come from two different cultures, two different continents. But at the end of the day, in America, we, we're just black. The way people perceived like African-American in um, America is uh, they, they're not intelligent. They don't know how to fight back when somebody, somebody were being racist to them. They don't have no voice. They were just like in, like in a cage, basically. So a lot of people tend to say like, don't speak to them, don't talk to them. Like they, they're not strong enough to represent like us people from Africa. And I have to reteach myself like, wow, what they show us in TV wasn't realistic. Like I didn't know who Martin Luther King Jr. was, who Roosevelt was, or who like, um, who Rosa Park was, or who Huey was or any of the uh, Black, uh, Black Panther fighters, freedom fighters were, because that did not exist back home. What we learn about Black Americans is what we saw on the TV. Criminal, drug dealers, all this kind of thing. And coming from a country where we saw ourselves, as I said, represented throughout the country, throughout the, the spheres of, of, of who we are, we couldn't understand that dynamic of black people because the portrayal was that they were always the poorest, right? They were always the criminal. They, was all, they were always the drug dealers. We didn't understand the whole dynamics about white supremacy and Jim Crow. I learned about Jim Crow when I moved to this country, when I was doing a, a course. That's when I learned about Jim Crow. Yes. And that was eye-opening for me. We immigrants came in here with clean slate, with enthusiasm. We want to make it, no matter what it takes. And then we don't think that we are limited because of our race. We keep going. You, you fail. You do it again. You know, you know, you don't think because I'm failing, I didn't get it because of my race. But for African-Americans, like I said, who have all their life, they know about the slave trade, they've been put down. They, for me, after being here for a long time, Honestly speaking, I'm feeling that, I'm living that, I'm beginning to, you know, I'm feeling the rage. Your, your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather was mistreated, was stolen, was beaten, was killed. That rage is there. And then as an immigrant, when you don't have first-hand experience, it's not there. But the longer you live here, the more you have shared experience, the more it is you, even though, it wasn't done to your blood, father and grandfather. You know, it is your father and your grandfather. You know, none of us is related to George Flood, but George Flood is us. George Flood is my brother, is my son, is my grandson not born yet, is my father, right? My grandfather is anyone that looks like me. Now the difference is that I've lived here for so long and I've actually witnessed it. So I'm feeling this way that I'm feeling now about such incidences. But for someone that was born and raised here, they have lived it. 
they have been told over and over and over. So that alone is limitation. It is limitation because it's a mindset. You're like, oh no, they're not gonna let me rise. But for me coming here, I did not think that way. Even though now it's beginning to creep in a little bit, right? That, that there are some, some, some things that I can't do because I'm being limited intentionally because of my race, because of my color. But again, when you have an obligation, family responsibility, when you want to be better, right? When you want to help others, you know, you got to find a way and put those aside. Set your mind and your goal and go towards it. And don't mind those limitations because they're always going to be there.